What's up everyone, it's your boy Chris K. And on today's episode of Texas Monsters, we're gonna be speaking on a man in McGregor, Texas who killed five people. Three of them were his family members and two of them were his neighbors next door. First off, uh, let me start by saying this is uh, saddening information to actually have to put out and stand up here and give you today. And thoughts and prayers and uh, hope for a successful healing for the McGregor community. We have learned a update in the case and currently within this case, we have a, uh, five people that are confirmed deceased from the incident that transpired this morning. Uh, I can't confirm their names or their identities at this time, and that will be later uh, given out. On September 29th, 2022, the McGregor, Texas Sheriff's Office would respond to a shots fired call on the 900 block of South Monroe. The caller stated that when he was outside, he saw a gray truck pass and he opened up shots firing at him. The officer reported that when he arrived on scene, he saw the gray truck speed off down the road. The officer then engaged in a pursuit and the gray truck stopped a block away. According to reports, the driver shot twice out of his passenger side window at a man standing on a second floor balcony. The McGregor police officers fired and shot the suspect. The police would learn that the suspect was Nicholas Hernandez, a 35 year old native of Mexico. Police would find a silver 9mm handgun and ammunition upon searching the truck. As the officers were providing medical attention to Hernandez, they would receive a call stating that there was a dead body outside a residence close to where Hernandez fleed. When police ar arrived back at residence, they found 47 year old Lori Aviles with multiple gunshot wounds. Police then searched inside the victim's house and found another dead body. It was Lori's 20 year old daughter, Natalie. Lori and Natalie were the neighbors of Nicholas Hernandez. McGregor police would then search Hernandez's house and as they walked in, they were approached by an eight year old boy that said that his dad shot his mom, his sister and his brother the night before. Police found the bodies of 38-year-old Monica, 15-year-old Miguel, and 14-year-old Natalie. According to reports, Hernandez also had his three kids there, ages 8, 6, and 4, the night of September 28. The three children were interviewed after the incident by the Advocacy Center for Crime Victims and Children. The 8-year-old boy told interviewers that at first, Hernandez told them to go to bed. And then he said that he saw his dad walking around the house with a gun. He said he saw his dad shoot his mother, his sister, and brother. The eight-year-old child would go on to say that Hernandez first shot his brother Miguel while he was laying in his bed in the front room. Then Hernandez shot his sister Natalie in her room. And then he went to his mother Monica's room and shot her. Hernandez told his two youngest kids to go in the closet. The eight-year-old said Hernandez kept walking around each room, checking on them with the gun in his hand. When the eight-year-old boy woke up that next morning, he told police his dad was still standing there with the guns in his hands. Hernandez was transported to Baylor Scott and White Hospital and he suffered injuries that left him paralyzed. Police tried to question Hernandez at the hospital, but Hernandez did not say anything. The neighbor Lori that was shot and killed it turned out that both of her sons had just left for high school right before the shooting occurred. On October 17, 2022, Hernandez was released from the hospital and booked into the McLennan County Jail. Hernandez is being charged with two counts of capital murder, killing five victims total, and will be tried for the death penalty. Now my first thoughts on this are about the eight-year-old boy who had to see his dad kill his mother, his brother, and his sister right in front of him. Um, that's gonna scar him for the rest of his life. And, um, you know, he probably looked up to his dad as a hero, and then he had to witness his dad do that evil thing right in front of him. Um, I don't know why Hernandez told the three little children to go to the closet, and then he proceeded to kill his two other children and his wife. I don't know if the three little children were his biological children, and the other two were his step stepchildren. Um, I'd have to look more into that. Um, you know, I can't comprehend why Hernandez would do this to his family and to his neighbors. I don't understand what drove him so mad or 
were so angry that he would have to go and do this. Um, I hope the three remaining children get put with a loving and caring family and hopefully they can somewhat heal over time. You know, this was a tragedy. Um, I also hope Lori's two sons that were in high school can heal and be helped through this nightmare. Uh, I can't imagine going to school and moments later getting a call saying my mom and my sister had been shot to death. Um, you know, I'm glad Hernandez got shot by the police officers and he's paralyzed. Um, hopefully while he's in jail or prison, um, he'll get preyed on and uh, hopefully they'll make him feel helpless like he did his family and his neighbors. Um, hopefully right now he's hurting physically, mentally, and emotionally. He deserves it. And I know he's gonna get the death penalty. Um, you know, I just wanna send my condolences to all the family members who lost their loved ones in this tragedy. Let me get y'all's thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Um, if you like the video, if you could do me a favor and subscribe. Um, you know, I started this channel two weeks ago and uh, the numbers it's doing is unbelievable. Um, all the supporters and subscribers and comments I just want to thank you all, and I'm going to keep pushing and bringing these monsters to light. Hopefully, by us still talking about these tragedies, that we can help protect or prevent our loved ones from being hurt by one of these monsters. And uh, thank you all for checking out this episode of Texas Monsters. I'll catch you all on the next one. Thank you.